here we have a three unit fixed bridge on the lower left uh, quadrant that has a severe toothache and by percussion test it's difficult to tell if it's the first molar or if to tell if it's the bicuspid so since the bridge is connected together so in this case we're going to take the bridge off and uh, see if we can't determine where this pain is coming from without opening up both teeth. So on this fixed bridge the first thing I have to do is go through the porcelain so I can gain access to the metal. That's why we call it a metal lift because we need metal to actually remove the bridge. And um, so I'm going to take the porcelain off first to get to the metal and I go in with my diamond, a cylindrical diamond and open the porcelain slightly. And you can see there where I've accessed the porcelain. And I'm actually doing this without a dental assistant, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to... Uh, <laughs> at least my patient feels better now. She's laughing. So, And then uh, this is a very thin area, so I know this is going to be too thin. My metal here is probably going to be paper thin, so I'm not going to use that metal to access it. I'm going to go ahead and move up here. Uh, towards the mesial triangular fossa, and I'll remove the porcelain there. And the next step is I'll take, I'm going to take a number one high speed burr. I'm going to lay the burr down sideways and turn the water off so I can put a dot right here in the middle of the metal. And so when I go back in vertically I won't be skating around. Then I'll turn the water back on and penetrate through, through the metal. I try to penetrate through the metal because we have apparently non-precious alloy here. Got through it's pretty thin. But we're gonna try with my metal lift bar. Let's see if we can get a precision channel. Right get through there. Get through right there. Go down underneath the metal just slightly and remove a little bit of dent so I don't catch any denting threads because the first four or five threads on the metal lift instrument are actually um, tapered so I need to go down in here at least about a half a millimeter below, below the uh, metal so that my metal lift instrument will catch the metal. Okay. You can see there on the back where the motor is lifted up. up. Make sure this is threading through now. And there's the bridge that came right out of there. And, uh, and there's the bridge and you notice I lifted it out of here and there's obviously some pathology going on here. Uh, with the second bicuspid and you can see that apparently it's an old old pulp exposure and the pulp is exposed and or else it could be internal resorption but right there is where the pain is coming from so so we know now which tooth it is it's not the molar in the back it's bothering her but this bicuspid so what we'll do now is we'll extirpate the pulp, put some medication in it, and then she'll be comfortable and she'll have a pleasant weekend after all. Right. 
so you can see here where the uh, you can see here where the the uh, pulp was bleeding it's right here on this buckle wall this buckle is actually pretty deep and um, so that's where the pulp exposure was and but the bridge is fine and we can reuse the bridge and and uh, get it all cleaned out and uh, she'll be just uh, as comfortable as possible after we excavate that pulp. Now you can see here I've taken a little metal lift key and I've placed it in that little threaded channel and secured that open in here and I secured the open in here. But and here we have the finished picture of the endodontics done on a bicuspid. Uh, it was actually done on a subsequent visit from this one that you just saw.